Hey there YouTubers, alright, so this is kind of a uh, two for one viewer request video. And I've had people ask me, hey, if I have a 10th gen CPU and I upgrade to a B560 from a B460, am I going to be able to overclock RAM? Of course, compatibility and a lot of other things are going to factor into this, but uh, we're going to demonstrate whether that will happen or not, okay, today. So we've got a 10th gen i3-10100. And we're going to have some 3600 megahertz RAM, uh, at least in a Z490 it runs at that, in a Z590. Not sure what it's going to run at in this, okay? Well, maybe, maybe I already know the answer. Now, the other question I get asked a lot, people will say to me, hey, should I get a B460, H410, H470, Z490 motherboard for my i7-10700? And pretty much that answer has always been overwhelming, overwhelmingly get the Z490, right? The RAM speed does make a difference in certain games. So, that said, now we have the B560, all right? Will I recommend this over the others? Uh, there may be a good chance. Let's go ahead and check out the setup. All right, this is the poor man's working bench, working test bench, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, I'm still in Africa, so I don't have my awesome uh, granite countertop down in the basement to work off of. We are uh, stuck here in a steel box. And uh, let me just tell you what we got. Obviously, you saw the motherboard. We've got an Intel Tension i3-10100. There is your stock Intel CPU cooler. Uh, not very impressive, of course. We have G-Skill. You might be able to see it. 3600 megahertz RAM, okay? Two sticks, eight gig, no SSD. So this is going to boot right to the BIOS, assuming it boots up. All right, let me turn the flash off. Let's go ahead and uh, power this up. Of course, I have this little power button. And, uh, of course, we got to turn the power supply on at the back. Don't forget that, folks. Don't forget that. Now, we'll hit the button. Now, hopefully, I'll remember to put the link down below. This is pretty awesome. You don't need a case, folks. You can travel with just, uh, you know, a few components. And you don't need a big case. All right, so here we go. We're in the BIOS. Boom. There's our RAM speed right now. Basic clock speed 2133. We're going to do something about that, hopefully. This is, uh, there you go. There is the motherboard model from ASRock. There is your BIOS version. Here is the CPU, i3-10100. Base speed 3600, or 3.6 gigahertz. And there you see the RAM. So, what do we have here, folks? XMP actually pops up. Let's go ahead and put the profile in see what happens so so far um, that changed to profile one let's go ahead and click the advanced mode of course I think I could have saved you guys a step there save yes boom all right let's see what happens when this boots up hopefully we have 3600 megahertz showing Drum roll. Boom. 3600. All right. So that answered your question, folks. And part two of the question was would I recommend this? So for those of you that are buying, you know, um, i7 10700s, i9 1009F, yes, I will be recommended B560s, maybe even the H570s, but definitely not H510s. Uh, big difference you know and what you get with an h510 uh, it's one of those motherboards they shouldn't even bother making thanks for checking out the video please like please subscribe thank you